Greg is one of the few entities connecting May to her old lifestyle. Possum Springs has undergone a radical change, eliminating its meaningful relational nucleation sites. May's relationship with Bea is strained at best and aggressive at worst. Not even her family remains in the same position as they were in before, yet Greg still exists as his wild and wacky self. May uses Greg to return to her old lifestyle of crime and abandon. In her attempts, the worst parts of May's old lifestyle surface. In her interactions with Greg, May is shown that her old lifestyle is empty and ultimately abandons it for good. The old lifestyle that May is trying to return to is characterized by its vapid and destructive nature. One of the most common threads throughout Greg's storylines are crimes. These come in various forms, whether they be stealing animatronic heads from a supermarket or breaking into a haunted house. All of Greg's crimes are characterized by placing short-term goals ahead of long-term goals. While every crime has its own specific short-term goal, there is an overarching goal to the crimes. After having assembled the robot for Angus, Greg remarks that, I think I missed the Greg of a few years ago. These days I mostly work all the time. The crimes are means of bringing entertainment into what is otherwise a dull life. The entertainment is seen as one juxtaposes Greg's dull work life with his crimes. Clearly breaking into a house is more adventurous than manning a cash register. The high from having commit a crime only lasts for a short time, as both May and Greg have to return to a world that lacks the adventure that the crimes are defined by. A similar thread is seen as they break light bulbs. The enjoyment is swift and fleeting, necessitating that they break light bulbs numerous times, as one cannot ride the high forever. All of the enjoyment gained from the crimes and destruction of May's old lifestyle are momentary. The vapid nature of May's lifestyle is also shown by how it deals with conflict and stress. The best example comes from when May goes to the Donut Wolf. After Greg and Angus fight, May goes to the restroom and, after considering the situation for a few moments, decides that I'm going to break something. May chooses to destroy the bathroom because of her discontentedness with the situation at hand. This solution has two main outcomes. One is that it actually makes the situation worse, as Greg walks in on her destroying the bathroom, causing another argument. The other reason is more important, however, in that by destroying the bathroom, May is attempting to deal with her stress in a manner that does not actually resolve it. Like much of her old lifestyle, May is dealing with her stress through momentary pleasure. Her destroying the bathroom does nothing to address the root cause of her unhappiness, that being the tension in her relationship with Greg and Angus. Said tension is only actually relieved by breaking away from the old lifestyle, as will be discussed a bit later. The destructive nature of the lifestyle is shown by both what is being risked and literal death. Greg is not entirely about pursuing crime, as he expresses that he has the plan to move to a town called Bright Harbor, because he saw that there was no future for him in Possum Springs. Greg states that he had not committed many crimes prior to May's returning home because he can't go to Bright Harbor if I get caught or fired. By pursuing his old lifestyle, Greg is risking the failure of his plan. That is more than just risking a single goal, it is potentially destroying his entire life. The old lifestyle is characterized by short-term thinking that makes it impossible to move to this new stage of his life. The literal death is when May temporarily dies due to being electrocuted by a car battery. From this, it can be seen that the old lifestyle is physically dangerous. Consider that casual knife fights and throwing bottles at each other is also inherent in Greg's lifestyle, and one can see that the physical risk is not an isolated occurrence. In summation, the old lifestyle that May is trying to cling to through Greg's storyline is one that dwells in momentary pleasure whilst neglecting long-term goals. Nearly every form of discontentedness, whether it be unhappiness or stress, is dealt with via crime and destructive escapades. While May originally tries to cling to this lifestyle, she ultimately finds that it has to be left behind in order for her to move forward.
May truly comes to terms with the fact that she has to leave her old lifestyle behind when she talks with Greg outside of the Donut Wolf. The first step to this is when Greg labels May as the source of the problem, when he states that May has to let him change. It is true that May is the catalyst of the return to their old lifestyle. Greg states that he had not done crimes until May returned to the town in the chapter Mechanics. To consider why she might be the catalyst, consider what is characterized by short-term thinking, destructive behavior, and momentary pleasure. These could all be characterized as childish, as children are not often known for their long-term thinking and are destructive in the face of tantrums. As many of the characters around her have said, May is psychologically still a kid, as Bea stated in the beginning of the game. She has not yet progressed past that vapid and childish lifestyle. Now it is unfair to say that May is the sole reason that Greg fell back into his old lifestyle. It was Greg who convinced May to go on every adventure that they went on throughout his storyline. Nearly all of the old escapades that May and Greg pursued were the brainchild of Greg. Perhaps May's active role in Greg's downfall is that of the facilitator. Prior to her appearance, Greg would have had to go to Angus or Bea, and neither of them would have supported such destructive actions. While May may not understand the situation to the degree described here, the fact that she is a source of the problem is certainly understood. In the face of such a realization, May abandons her old lifestyle. May's abandonment of that lifestyle comes in one last hurrah as she and Greg leave the animatronic in the woods. As they consider the animatronic, May remarks that they leave it for the kids, let it be a legend. By leaving the animatronic, May has also left her old lifestyle there in the woods. By leaving it for the kids, there are two things noted here. The first is that there is a clear delineation made between May and a childlike nature. In prior exchanges where May tried to claim herself as an adult, someone would rebut her, whether with the statement that she does not have a job or that she is a kid. In this instance, there is no rebuttal to her separating herself from the childish, and thereby also her old lifestyle. The second point goes hand in hand with the idea of legends, in that the animatronic is being, in a sense, passed down to the children. Their old lifestyle was not completely bad. Both May and Greg reminisce that nearly burning down the school was maybe the best night of my entire life. Rather than being wholly bad, the lifestyle is something that the both of them need to move past. Hence, they would find it appropriate to pass it down not only physically, but also as legends. May and Greg's old lifestyle is the legends of their founding. There is no way to separate the people they are now from the destructive acts of the past, and no reason to either. However, their foundations have to be foundations for something. And because of that, they have to leave behind the old. May may hesitate, no doubt for nostalgia's sake, but she abandons her old lifestyle and one of her few living ties to the past there in the woods. By hanging out with Greg, May was returning to her old lifestyle of empty destruction. By doing so, she not only hurt herself, but helped to drag Greg down with her. She had to give it up for the sake of both herself and Greg. May moves from her childishness into a degree of adulthood. While her ontological problems remain intact, she is no longer left with a will to regain her old ontology. In the future, we will examine how May deals with having cast off her old lifestyle, but first it is necessary to examine the other major storyline in the game, that of Bea's. Of course, that will be examined next time. Thanks for watching, and as always, Enjoy the rest of your day.